guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at the maximum sum of distinct sub arrays with length l problem which is from lead code number 2461 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem you are given an integer array nums and an integer k find the maximum sub array sum of all the sub arrays of nums that meet the following conditions the first condition is the length of the sub array is k and the second condition is all the elements of the sub array are distinct return the maximum sub array sum of all the sub arrays that meet the conditions if no sub array meets the condition with then we need to return zero a sub array is a contiguous non empty sequence of elements within an array now before looking at an example let's look at the constraint in this case they are saying the nums length is 10 to the power of 5 and k can also be 10 to the power of 5 so you cannot write an nk or n square algorithm because that will reach 10 to the power 10 computations right we should always make sure we are less than 10 to the power 8 computations so an n log n algorithm can be better or if you can do something better it's good now let's look at an example for better understanding in this case we are given the array where we have let's say six items 1 5 4 2 4 2 and uh, our n value is 6 so the k value is let's say 3 and so the sub array size will be 3 our goal is to find the maximum sum sub array of size k out of all the sub arrays which we can derive uh, where all the k elements must be unique in all possible sub arrays so if you look at how many sub arrays can be there we can start a sub array from index 0 and go till index 2 we can also start a sub array from 1 and go till 3 we can do the same for 2 to 4 and we can do the same for 3 to 5 so there will be four possible sub arrays if you want to find out with formula then if the n value is 6 and k value is 3 your number of sub arrays will be n minus k plus 1 that means the starting point cone can go from 0 to 3 okay now out of all these four sub arrays if you look at the first sub array you have 1 5 4 where the sum is 10 if you look at the second sub array the sum is 5 4 2 uh, which will be 11 right now the third sub array has two elements which are uh, repeating therefore it is not a valid sub array and the same goes for the fourth sub array as well so out of all the valid sub arrays which one is holding the maximum sum it is 11 therefore the answer in this case will be 11 okay so i hope the problem statement is clear if you want to do it by the simple approach then we will be iterating for all of these uh, items in the window and i will be finding the sum let's say 1 plus 5 plus 4 and also i will be maintaining maybe a set which will be continuously checking if any of these items are repeating or not repeating okay now if none of the items are repeating then i will uh, make this as one of the candidate sum which will be 10 in this case right and we will be checking for the next window so the next window will be 5 4 2 again i will be iterating and finding the sum and checking if there is any repetition of items right so this will take order of nk time and we already saw that k can also go to 10 to the power of 5 as well as n which can make the total computations go to 10 to the power of 10 so this is not going to run in your uh, given time complexity okay so let's uh, look at some observation in order to build a better solution so uh, the first point is let's just uh, see this array and uh, the given k value is 3 let's try to apply uh, the concept of sliding window because it is a sub array problem right and we need to check for all the windows side by side therefore we will be applying the sliding window so what i will do is i will be maintaining a window sum which will be initially zero so let's say that i have already calculated the sum of the first window which is 5 plus 4 plus 1 which is 10 so i will be having 10 here now let's say if i want to slide this window to the right hand side by one value then i will be including this third index item and i will be excluding this zeroth index item right So if I want to include this third index item then I will be adding this value here plus 2 and I will be subtracting this zeroth index item which is doing minus 1 so the sum value will be 11 but then I have to be sure if the items are not repeating maybe there was a 5 here and it will be repeating now so we have to do the check as well so we might have to iterate one item after another right so the requirements are the first requirement is to maintain the window sum that we can do by using the sliding window technique and the second requirement is even though you are sliding the window one after another still you have to check all the elements for their uniqueness right in the in the given window so for that we cannot just do it by the simple sliding window in order to implement that we can count the frequency of each of the item that is occurring in the window how to do that is let's say the initial window was 154 
so we can use a map with a kv pair where i will say that one has occurred one time five has occurred one time and four has occurred one time how do i know if there is nothing repeating because you know that the window size is k and if the size of this frequency hash map is let's say equals to k which is 3 then all of the keys must be occurring exactly one time isn't it so that is how i will know if the elements are non repeating now let's say if after sliding let's say here was a 5 okay then after sliding since you i want to remove this one so i will be subtracting from my window sum that you already know and i will be adding this 5 value okay so i'll be including the right element and i will be excluding the left element but then in order to adjust the frequency of the items since i am excluding this one i have to reduce its counter by one point and if the counter reaches to zero i will be removing this entry from the hash map itself and the hash map size is redu uh, reducing to two now since i am including this five so i will be checking the frequency of it if it is one then make it two i'll just do plus plus for it right if there is no entry for it then i will make a new entry so in this case for the window 545 the size of the frequency uh, hash map is just 2 which is less than k right so that means there is something repeating so in that case this is not a valid window right so in this way we can maintain the sliding window uh, for uh, calculating the sum and use hash map on top of it so that we can keep track of the repeating items in the given window okay so having known this concept let's apply the sliding window with hash map in this case this is our given array and let's say our k value is equals to 3 okay now we will be using the sliding window technique so if you have given a window then i will always be pointing to the start of the sliding window now whenever i want to uh, slide this window to the right hand side i have to include the i plus 1th item and i have to remove the last item of the window right in this way we will be doing the sliding so i will be maintaining the sum of this entire window so for that reason I, I am taking window sum I am taking uh, the frequency hash map as I had explained which will be uh, containing the key which is the all the unique items in the sliding window and the value which will be saying about how many times a single item has occurred right so this will tell me about if there are any duplicate items or repeating items right so in this case let's uh, do everything step by step our step number one will be to include the right hand side item step number two will be to exclude the leftmost item and then step number three will be to update the max sum okay so since i want to track the maximum sum that i get over all the valid sub arrays therefore i will be updating maximum sum why i have initialized it to zero and not minus infinity is all the values in the array is positive as mentioned in the constraint now you should remember that all the valid windows will only start at a index i which is greater than equals to k minus one okay so until you reach to this index two you cannot have any valid window isn't it at least k size is needed now if you want to remove something from the left then your i must be greater than equals to k because until you reach to this index 3 you cannot have anything to the left that you want to remove right you should have more than three items to actually remove something from the left okay so having known these two conditions let's do the iron immediately i will start an iterator i from position number zero according to the first step I want to include this item if I want to include the item my window sum will be adding this value and this will become one now my frequency counter since one's key is not present I'll create a key with a, a frequency of one it is occurring one time now second step I want to remove something from the left hand side but then the uh, window is not of enough size I cannot remove anything from the left so for that I will be writing if i is greater than equals to k then only I will be removing something from the left otherwise I will not remove. So until I reach to index 3 I will not bother about removing anything from the left side. So step number 2 is done. Step number 3 update the maximum sum. Now this updation will only happen if we are seeing a valid window size. A valid window size will be a size at least 3. So if i is greater than equals to k minus 1 that means until we reach to this 2 we do not have any valid window size. So this maximum will not get updated. So again I will do the same process for this uh, index number 1. I will be adding this value since I want to include this value. And again it is not of enough size so nothing will be removed from the left side. And the third step maximum sum will not get updated because our window size is only 2. I need at least 3 size right and uh, while doing this uh, addition I had to also update this into the frequency map right 
so this five has occurred one time again i will slide to the right hand side this four will be included so the window sum will become 10 this force frequency will be updated by one because four is occurring for the first time then i want to remove something from the left but since i greater than equals to k is false i am to the left of index 3 so nothing is present on the left side of the window but then if you look at it we have reached to index 2 so i greater than equals k minus 1 is true that means we have a valid window and if we see a valid window i will be updating my maxim which will be equals to already known maxim comma a window sum take the max of these two and just update it so this will become 10 now this updation will only happen if the frequency size is already equals to the k size right because if the frequency size is less than k size that means something is repeating and so maximum sum will not be updated as i had already explained now after having done this we will be sliding to the right hand side so now we will be including this 2 and the sum will become 12 okay and i will increment the frequency of 2 by one time and since this i greater than equals to k is now true so there is an invalid index on the left side which needs to be removed after sliding so once i want to remove this uh, then i will be subtracting this value from the window sum so this will become 11 and also i will be uh, removing it from the hash map so i'll be decrementing its frequency and it becomes zero so if the frequency becomes zero then i will be removing this entry itself from the hash map okay now for this window which is starting at index 1 and ending at index 3 i'll be checking the frequency size if the frequency size is equals to k which is 3 which is true in this case then the maximum sum will get updated and it, and it will be max of 10 comma 11 so this will become 11 right again i will do the sliding process and i will include 4 so this minimum sum will be updated to this 15 11 plus 4 and the frequency of this 4 will be updated to 2 now right and then uh, step number one is done now we want to remove something from the left side so this index one will be removed its value is 5 so 5 will get subtracted this becomes 10 and also the frequency of 5 will be reduced by 1 so this becomes 0 since the frequency is 0 this entry will be removed from the hash map now in the third step the max sum will get updated but then the frequency size must be equals to k here the frequency size is only 2 which is less than k so that is why this is not a valid window because 4 is repeating as you see right therefore we will just slide to the right hand side if we slide to the right hand side 6 will get included so the sum will become 16 and uh, the 6 is uh, frequency will get updated by 1 so this becomes 1 right now something has to be removed from the left side index 2 will be removed so 4 will be removed the window sum will be 12 and force frequency will be reduced by 1 right having done the step number 1 and step number 2 I will check if this is a valid window so just check the frequency size frequency size is 3 there are 3 entries which is equals to k so that means it is a valid window so I'll be updating the max sum which will be max of 11 comma 12 so this becomes 12 after this i will iterate again and i am going out of bounds so i'll stop i have checked all the windows and so the maximum sum will always give me the answer right so this is how i will find out the maximum sum out of all the subarrays with the condition that there is no repeating item in the maximum sum subarray of size k now this technique will take care of all the edge cases as well because if none of the subarrays are valid then your max sum will remain to be zero it will never get updated and so we needed to return zero if we could not find the result right so i hope you understood the entire solution in this case we were iterating for all the elements exactly one time insertion was taking o one time and also updating the frequency hash map was o one time removal all only took uh, doing a subtraction and decrementing the frequency uh, of the, of the key from the hash map and removing the entry so since we are using unordered hash map i will take o1 for each of the operations and third step was maximizing the max sum which is again order of one so since we are doing it n times it will be order of n and for the frequency hash map it will be order of n space complexity let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the nums array with the value k i'll be finding the number of items the maximum will be initialized to zero 
and we will take a hash map frequency where the key will be the unique item of the window and the value will be the frequency of how many times it has occurred in the window. Then I will take a window sum which will be the sum in the sliding window and I will iterate for all the items one by one. Now uh, I will do step number one where given a sliding window I will always include the right side item. Okay. So this will be done. So we have to also update the frequency counter and add the value to the window sum. Second step, we have to remove something from the left hand side. So this is that step. If you remove, then uh, we have to also reduce its frequency from the frequency hash map. And if the frequency becomes zero, then I have to remove the entry itself entirely from the hash map, right? And in step number three, if the window is valid size and the frequency size is equals to K, then maximum sum will be updated with the window sum. And at the end, we have to just return the maximum sum. So I hope this technique was clear. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.